Jesse, great to see you here in Fresno out of uh, Fight Week. There's a few changes to this fight along the way. It's been a bit of a sort of roller coaster of emotions for you, but you yeah. must be ready to go again. It's business as usual on Saturday night. Yeah, of course. Um, I was supposed to fight for a title, but they told me um, on Sunday that it was a different opponent. I'm no longer fighting for the title due to visa issues. But, you know, the goal remains the same, and that's to get a win. Talk to us about that replacement, Jose uh, Alejandro Burgos. He's not a walk in the park by any stretch. What can you tell us about him? Have you had a chance to kind of study him in this time? Uh, well, he actually fought my brother. He took my brother a few rounds, uh, took him a couple rounds in the fight. My brother stopped him, though. But as far as a fight win, it was a tough fight for my brother. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I plan on doing the same thing as my brother, and that's stopping him. And I guess, obviously, with a view to fighting that world title, it's now been kind of delayed a little bit. But yeah. I guess the plan is now to go out there and, and make another statement. Yeah. Something you've already continued to do over the summer at the top rank bubble. You've been making, you've been knocking guys out for fun. Yeah, of course. Uh, the, like I said, the goal remains the same. That's to win. And I'm going to win in a devastate, uh, devastating knockout fashion. And, you know, I'm, I'm out there to, to prove a point that I deserve the world title and that I deserve to be world champion. And just how much have you been enjoying being on that run at the moment? And I mentioned that the top rank bubble, you yeah. know, you went on a, a huge streak of knockouts as well. Yeah. You're, you're on fire at the moment. Yeah, um, I mean, right now I have a lot of momentum going. It's been a slow year, but I feel like I stayed in the gym. I did my work and the layoff's not going to do much. But come Saturday night, I'm going to show why, like I said, I deserve to be a world champion. You fought on a zone card once before, but again, yeah. fans that are kind of being reintroduced to yourself. Um, you know, you, you, you're part of the Robert Garcia gym. You're probably getting some world-class sparring. Just tell us about kind of the sparring you are getting in that gym at the moment. Uh, with this camp, I was getting a lot of work with Ronnie Rios. Uh, I know he's fighting for the world title coming up. Uh, a lot of young prospects at Robert's gym. It's always tough sparring, you know. It's never an easy sparring. And that's why every fighter that comes out of Robert Garcia's gym, it's 110% ready. And you're campaigning at 108 at the moment. You're, yeah. you're eyeing that world title at 108 pounds. But a lot of the guys in the gym, a lot of journalists are saying, you know, this guy's going to be a multi-weight world champion. You fought in, you know, in all kinds of divisions, haven't you? Yeah, the, the highest I fought was at 114. Yeah. And this is, and 108 is the most comfortable weight for you. Is the, is the goal to kind of win all the titles at 108, or do you, do you see yourself kind of moving up and down and challenging for different uh, titles? Well, I'm going to get the world title at 108 and then work my way up 112, 115, 118, and go from there. And how do you kind of assess? Uh, you know the landscape at 108 at the moment. You've got some great champions in in, in, in Hiroto Kaiguchi and Elwin Soto who's yeah. on this card as well. You're keeping one eye on him as well, I imagine, this weekend. Yeah, of course. You know, um, any world champion, I feel like I'm ready already. I can beat him. And I'm confident in my skills, mentally, physically. I'm ready I'm ready for any 108 champ. And obviously, you're stable mates with Mikey Garcia headlining this weekend. How much of a mentor has he been, um, you know, during your time in the gym? And, and how much do you look up to him as a fighter? Uh, it's been cool training with Mikey, you know, uh, doing strength and conditioning, he was telling me, like, you know, just work hard. Your, your time's gonna come. And even like during fight week, to run with somebody, like when you're losing weight, it's different than when you're doing it by yourself. You have somebody with you that keeps you motivated, and you know, just being around Mikey this whole fight week is it's been it's been a blessing. And tell us a little bit about your background as well. And obviously, your brother is a world champion as well. And yeah. you know, we spoke to you in the gym last week. You were saying that you know, your family's gone through a lot to to get you guys to where you are today. Yeah. Just tell us about kind of you know the hardships that your your family went through to kind of put you in the position. Uh, Man, my parents went through a lot, you know, uh, with their money. Uh, when we started boxing, we, we started winning these tournaments and they had to sacrifice their, their money for the bills. They had to sacrifice that money to, so we can go to our tournaments. And, you know, we would fall behind on, on payments and it was just real tough. But I'm blessed to have the mom and dad that I was given. And without them, I wouldn't be here. And how much does that motivate you? you know, and your that, that's everything. That's all my motivation. My mom and my dad, my family, I do it for them. Going out this weekend, making a statement on Saturday night, how much would it mean to you to, to win that world title and become a world champion yourself and not, you know, also for your family as well and have, have two, essentially two yeah. consecutive world champions in the family? Uh, winning a world title, at a, being, the, being a world champion at the same time as my brother would be everything, you know, for my family, me and my brother, the city of San Antonio. Something like that would be huge. So I'm really motiva motivated to get that world title shot and I know it's going to come. And just finally, what can we expect to see from you on Saturday night? Uh, knockout. Expect a knockout. All the best, Jack Jesse. Thank you.